How you doing? This is uh, Joey Coda Maloney. Uh, why they call me Coda, I don't know. It's like some kind of music thing for the music sissies. You know, not including, of course, Frankie. God rest his soul. But uh, for some reason, that name stuck with me. I travel the country. I have investments in certain areas. And, uh, you know, I have a dame in almost every major city. Sometimes I'll call them and, you know, see how they're doing from a strip club or something. But, uh, you know, the reason I drink, to give the rest of the world a curve. My name is Chuck, and I'm from the west side. I uh, used to be kind of crazy woman hotter and do a lot of pills and things and just crazy, crazy times when I was younger. But I got a different mentalization right now. That's what you got to do. You got to reset yourself and have a different kind of mentalization. And uh, now I got a beautiful little sweet little wife that cooks, got blonde hair, a little short thing. And now I got Bubba, my son, sleeps on my belly every night, falling asleep watching football games. And uh, my beautiful daughter, Whitney. And uh, we go to church every Sunday. And uh, I do like that David Lee Redding fella, that music guy I saw at the bar one time playing out music. Uh, but sometimes I like to warn girls about him because I think he might be a little crazy, little kind of rock and roll guys. I, I thought maybe at one time he'd be as famous as Garth Brooks, but I just don't know. I just, I just like to be, stay clear of him, you know, because he's, I like, he's a nice guy. He's a nice guy. And Jesus loves him too, but I just, I don't always uh, trust those guys that do music, you know. How y'all doing, huh? I'm Chuck's brother. I live with my mama now. A lot of people say it's because I, cause I got to live with my mama. Now, I do that because I take care of my mama. And she cooks. And I do have a job. I work construction like three days a month. Let me tell you this, Chuck guy, what a sissy, man, going to church every Sunday. Let me tell you, my life's about going to the bars Getting fights and bringing on the crux. That's what they do right there. Look, look at that, son. I call it the crux. Once you see the crux, you never go back. Everybody says I'm insecure. That's it's not true, man. Watch out. Here comes the crux. Hi. My name is Rufus William Jordan. Winthrop the third. It's kind of dark in here because I like it dark. I don't talk much. And I do virtual school. And I like video games. Mother's always gone traveling. And it's such a giant four-story house with one elevator. This is the most I've ever spoken in my life. Will you be my friend? Hello, this is Thurston. It's so nice to meet you. I, I, I've only been out with you two times, but Mummy really likes you, and if you wouldn't mind, would you take my hand in marriage? I wore this red turtleneck shirt to show my symbol of power, but Mummy always says that it's her money, not mine, but it doesn't matter. I graduated from Yale on my own, and you will be set financing for the rest of your life, darling. Would you please consider me? I'm Craig. I work at the mall. I do the makeup counter uh, for passers-by. Um, I'm usually wearing a suit then, uh, but you see me in my more regular attire today, which is kind of kind of edgy, sexy, gothy. Uh, but I'm I kind of messed up the whole outfit I think today with um, this cool police hat. But I do like the man in uniform. <laughs> but uh, sometimes a lot of people don't know this, but I um I paint my nails black because in high school I was one of those gothic kids. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> right? So anyway, um, nice to meet you. <laughs> Hello, I'm Darren. I'm from England. I do a bit of globe trotting. I went to Paris last week and actually two weeks ago <laughs> I correct myself because I was a week late home, and my wife goes, Darling, why are you so late? Why were you a week late and didn't even call me? I said, Darling, <laughs> Paris and I are hardly a recipe for fidelity. <coughs> I 
what's up? <clears throat> I'm Chaz, man, and I live at the beach, <clears throat> and uh, I like to skate, man. I hope you like that. It's, it's really f frees your spirit, <clears throat> and um, I like uh, <clears throat> the surf. Everybody likes the surf, man, and uh, what else do I like? I can't remember. <clears throat> Hello, my name is uh, Manuel. Uh, I am the heir of a, a Spanish vineyard in Spain. Uh, I like to travel to your country often and see your beautiful women and you have nice people. Uh, uh, and I, of course, always taste your wine. However, it can in no way compare to the vineyards in Spain. So I'm very sorry. But anyway, uh, I do enjoy your country and uh, <clears throat> How do you say, uh, B-A-B-A? -A. How do you say, oh, bye-bye. Yes, bye good. All right, this is Henry, kid. I still get my Marine shirt on. All right, God bless him and the service I did for our country. But I don't want to hear anything about stubbing your toe or these people that are can't make enough money or somebody like might have uh, multiple scoliosis or something like that. <laughs> they know they're not running around the jungle with Charlie shooting at them. So I want to hear it, kid. I don't want to hear it. It's an excuse. Hi, guys. This is Celestia, your spiritual advisor. Love and light. Listen, this is all about you. Today I'm wearing green lipstick to represent the universe and the fluorescent plasma that flows between all of us. But you know, this is really about you. Don't forget to check the bottom screen when this is over and you can link and see bunches of photos and videos of things I've done with other people and how I've helped them out and saved their lives. But you know, this isn't about me. It's about you and what you can do with your life. Okay. So just remember when you think about things are getting bad in your life, you just click on Celestia's link and she'll help you out. And you can also check out my t-shirt line and some of my dresses I've been working on and a couple of books I wrote. They're in, they're in like spiral book form, but that's okay. We're worldwide, y'all. Okay. Remember, this isn't about me. Have you seen my new hairdo, by the way? <laughs> I love it. But this is about you guys. All right. All right. See you soon. Oh, they call me the blues man. A lot of people think the blues are about a man being sad, but that's not necessarily true. Uh, what it is, is uh, 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 a sad man working out of the blues. But I'm not sure what that means. I just heard it somewhere. Okay, this is Max. You, you nervous accountant guy? I just want to tell you, I'm one of the numbers I did my calculation. And it says here, we're 30% down this quarter, 25% down in sales, 30% uh, in uh, customer service, and uh, our stocks are dropping by 50%. In short, what are we going to do? Oh. How you doing? I'm, I'm Ted. Uh, I was just reading some more organic uh, ingredients because I'm going to cook today for myself. I, uh, I climb rocks. I mountain bike. I run about 600 miles a day. Uh, I triathlete train every morning at 3 a.m. You might notice a little smell coming, uh, emanating. Uh, that's because I don't wear deodorant. I don't believe in taking baths. Uh, but I've got ripped abs and my skin is beautiful. But now I'm going to go uh, eat some granola and read some poetry. This is Claire Seisberg, your mother, remember? And the one you never call and check on anymore, and you have a father over here who's worried sick about you named Lenny? Be quiet, I don't really care about the kid. Be quiet, Lenny. And I've been in the nail salon in Miami for the past hour and called you like 25 times. All I want to know is if you're okay and you never check on me because I got that terrible, nasty cigarette cough. And I want to know if you're eating your vegetables. So
They call me Wolfman. When the moon is full, I become a changeling. And things get very scary. Watch. It didn't work this time. All right. I'm Schlimp. I'm uh, Moses' other brother, the one he doesn't talk about. You know, we always talk here about this Aaron guy uh, crossing the Red Sea or whatever. Listen, I have three casinos in Las Vegas. I make more money than he could ever make, okay? And listen, what's the big deal? Wig, burning bush and all this stuff. I can do it too. Watch this. Watch. Let my people go. Huh? See you there. I'm Cherry. Can't you tell? I've been a career stripper in Los Angeles for the past, I don't know, since 1969. I have six kids and ten grandchildren. But if you get ever get hungry, don't forget to come get spiked at the Hungry Beaver. Seven years old, and I've still got it, baby. Hello, my name is Glenatius. They sent me to one of your witch doctors you call a psychologist, and he sent me here to be a legionnaire at this place, to protect it as a gatekeeper. Don't forget your cart, ma'am. Remember, when you come here and are caught for stealing, you will meet your doom in the eternal pit forever. This is Walmart! Hello, this is Francois uh, from France. Uh, today I'm doing something a little different from uh, my uh, usual uh, concoction that I show you. Uh, this is beef, uh, tomatoes, onion, uh, uh, potatoes. Uh, but if for late night snacks, I prefer something a little different. Uh, and it would be this, something that the silly Americans do. And it would be the the cat and crunch, you know? You like? Look. You yeah, just a little bit of cat and crunch. And the just perfect ratio of uh, berries. And a little bit of 2% milk because I prefer the milk to be less fattening so I will not be a pig. Uh, like the Americans, uh, and then you have a spoon, and uh, you keep your figure, and voila.